Should humans drink dairy milk? Of course we should. That's a stupid question, right? But what if we stop and ask ourselves, where did our knowledge of milk come from? Take this guy. Hello. His teacher said milk was good for strong bones because it has calcium. But can the human body absorb calcium nutrients from dairy? Let's look at how the body works. Firstly, food enters the mouth. We chew it up and it continues down the esophagus and into the stomach. There it's met with powerful enzymes that continue breaking the food down into a liquid-like form. In the small intestines, the walls are covered in small hair-like protrusions called villi. These villi absorb the nutrients which then enter the bloodstream and are distributed to the relevant parts of the body. But what happens when you eat or drink dairy? Firstly, 75% of humans are lactose intolerant. This means they lack the lactase enzyme to break down the lactose. Thus, the dairy cannot be absorbed and creates a layer of milky slime over the villi, stopping them from taking in any other nutrients. But what about all the studies I've heard? The dairy industry wouldn't lie to me. What would they have to gain? The dairy industry generates more than $60 billion per year. Their marketing budget alone is $175 million, so they have money to gain. In the years between 1988 to 1993, there were 2,700 articles in the medical archives about milk. Zero of those said milk was an excellent food. Instead, they state many health issues are linked to dairy consumption, including heart disease and cancer. But where will you get your calcium? Try vegetables. They have half the calories of milk and double the absorption. Cows produce milk all year round. This is not natural. For this to be possible, they are artificially inseminated. Their udders cannot deal with this pressure and they become infected. This is called mastitis. Infected udders are loaded with pus. Did you know that the average glass of milk has at least 322 million pus cells? That's one to seven drops of pus in every glass of milk. Constantly being pregnant and in confinement, they are no longer able to walk. Then they are killed after four years instead of their 25-year expectancy. But what if you're the 25% who aren't lactose intolerant? You must have the strongest bones, right? Let's have a quick lesson on the biochemistry of your body. Your body gets its energy from a biochemistry created by a balance of acid and alkaline. Most of the foods we eat, including milk, break down into an acid. Green veggies and a few other foods break down into alkaline. When you eat too much acid, your body uses calcium to neutralize these acids. And over time, the body begins to leach calcium from the bones to keep neutralizing the acid you put in your body. This is why you see old people shrinking and breaking bones easily. But that's not all. The rising demand of milk and beef raises the amount of cows. This directly affects the amount of methane pumped into the atmosphere, adding the greenhouse gases and thus climate change. To give you an idea, livestock farming creates 18% of the world's greenhouse gases. Transport is only 13%. So let's look at what we've learned. We think milk is healthy because of the billionaire dairy fat cats telling us it is with no scientific backup. It contributes to many extreme health conditions, including cancer. It's cruel to the cows. Not only does milk not give you calcium, it actually leaches from your bones. And lastly, it adds to climate change. So next time you think about drinking milk, think again.